Last week I finished improving my A-star pathfinding. Instead of having a very unrealistic, grid-based, zigzag path as a result, now there is a post-processing algorithm as well. As you can see, in previous versions it was just a simple A-star, which always finds the shortest path, but only on a grid. And in our real, floating-point world, these aren't really the best solutions. We aren't forced on a grid, so we could just take some shortcuts. For example, if it's possible, we could always just go to our destination in a straight line. And really, this is what the post-processing algorithm does. It always forward checks a path, and when it finds the first tile which is not accessible in a straight line, then we mark the tile before that as a waypoint. Then we start over from that tile until we find our next waypoint. And this goes on and on until the last tile is reached. So now entities walk in straight lines between these waypoints. And this also fixed a few bugs like wanting to traverse diagonally while there is a neighboring wall on the way. Also I'm working on a skill system and this smooth pathfinding is very useful. For example for the homing fireball. You cast it on a damageable target and it will reach it on the shortest path without hitting any walls. Well, this can be said about the creatures. Currently, obviously, they only block a homing missile accidentally. But maybe in the future they will do it intentionally. For example, if there is an important entity, its allies may sacrifice themselves. Next week I will hopefully finish the new skill system, because I've already got some fancy diverse skills. After that I can finally work again on procedural generation, which will be right on time, because my deadlines are coming. I'm getting more and more excited day by day, so I can't wait to see what will I manage to achieve by the end of this year. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.